Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run, well we're back here looking at this Instamatic Evo camera from Fuji Films and basically if you watch the original video I did, which was just an unboxing, I did say I'd follow it up eventually. Now I've been using this camera for a little while and I can tell you already it's my favourite Instamatic camera, it's an awesome camera. So basically I want to go through uh, the features on the outside, basically all the buttons, and then I'll show you some of the menus show you some printing and show you it paired with a phone so you get a basic idea of what this camera is like. So let's basically start by going through all the button layout. So if we go from the beginning, we'll start from the front. You can see here we've got a power button, we've got the lens which also adjusts the lens filters, you've got a selfie mirror which is quite handy, a trigger and a flash. So they're the first things on the front. Going to this side, you've got a tripod mount, which is quite handy because not all of the Instamatic cameras have tripod mounts, but this one does. This side is where the film comes out. Basically on the bottom is where you've got this little cover here, and if I can get it off, you can see that it's got uh, a micro USB uh, charging port and a micro uh, SD slot and also a reset button. So that's great that they've included that. Now if you go to the back, you've got an LED screen, you've got these four buttons that operate the different functions and you've got a lever here to open it to take the film. And then finally if we go to the top, we've got a little bit here for anchoring a strap. We've got another dial here, this is for adjusting more different coloured filters. We've got an info button, another trigger, this lever which operates the printing mechanism and actually makes a sound which is really cool. And then you've also got a little shoehorn adapter, which is really unusual on this sort of camera. Now with that shoehorn adapter, you can put accessories like this here, which is a little light that I've got. But you could also put this, which is a optical viewfinder, so you don't have to use the LED screen to look at your subject to you know, frame it. So when you, you can just get one of these little optical fellas to do it. So that's really great that it's um, got such a lot of um, functionality already just on the body itself, which is quite unusual for Instamatic cameras. So what I want to do next is I'll show you some of the menu options. I'll show you me loading the film and pairing it up with my phone and then printing stuff out. So you get a bit of an idea of what this camera is all about. So let's go and have a look at some of those features next. Okay, so I've got the camera ready and I've got some Fuji Instamatic film here for this camera. So if I just tear it at the little tearing spot, as you can see, it's got this sort of owl foil stuff, like so. And then if we open the camera up, and as you can see, it's like all the other Fuji Instamatic cameras. You've got this little yellow thing here and you want to match it with this yellow thing. You want to put the two together like so, and then when I push it down, it should print automatically a blank out. So when we shut this back lid, like so, it'll actually start printing out a blank, and that's just to prime the film ready to be used. So that's always what you'll get whenever you load a new fresh film canister into one of these Instamatic cameras. So now the uh, Instamatic camera is fully loaded, ready to go, and we've got print film in there. So next, let me show you some of the different um, photo options that you have with the different filter settings, and then I'll show you some pictures I've taken, and then I'll show you how to print those pictures out. Okay, so we've switched the camera on, and as you can see, there's a basic image on the table going through the camera. Now, if I adjust the front lens, you can see that we can go through the different lens options, and you can see there's quite a lot of them. Um, when you go through them all, there's definitely different variations of things you can use to get uh, really unusual shots. And then if you operate this uh, switch at the top here, you can then also change um, the filter colours. So you can have retro and various different filter colours on your image. But you can actually combine those. So if I combine that with um, one of the other different settings and then keep doing this, you can see that we can get a whole host of different shooting options. And that makes it very um, great for creatability. You can take a lot of interesting shots mixing and matching your different lenses in the camera without having to necessarily use a piece of photo editing software. 
to do that later on. So that that is great to have that options in the camera and something I really like about it. So next, let's um, take some pictures with this camera and then I'll print them out so you can have a look at what the print quality is like. And then I'll also show you me pairing this to my um, phone so you can see some of the other options that this has, this particular Instamatic camera, because you can use it as a printer for your phone too, which is another great option. So let's go and do that next. Okay, so let's uh, print an image. So I've taken an image of some Lego figures that I've looked at in the past. And to print those, basically you operate this little lever here, which is pretty cool. So when I pull this lever back, it'll set it off in motion and as you can see you get a little cool little animation which is pretty neat so next let's just let that develop and see how long it takes to uh, appear So next, let's uh, pair this uh, camera up to my phone using the app and we'll take some pictures with my phone and then we'll send them to the camera printer and we'll compare the printing quality from the phone to the camera versus taking just pictures from the camera and printing them directly. So let's go and have a look at that next. Let's have a look at also the menu system on this camera. So as you can see, you've got face detection, illumination, Bluetooth. Uh, you've got printing options. You can set the date, the time. You can reset it, you can format it, and you can also update the firmware, which is pretty good. Also, if you double click this button, you can adjust uh, for macro, you can turn the flash off, you can adjust white balance, you've got a timer, and you can also adjust exposure. So you've got a lot of options on this camera just uh, using the different settings in the camera, which is great. So next, let's uh, pair this camera up with my phone. So we'll use the phone app and we can print photos from the phone using the built-in printer on this. So you can have a look at how the quality of those are compared to the actual printing of the images from the camera itself. So let's have a look now at um, connecting the phone using the Bluetooth on the Evo camera. So basically you go to your menu settings and you select Bluetooth and you pair up your device. Now I've already paired this up and you download the Evo Instamatic app onto your phone, whether it's Android or Apple, there'll be an app available which will match this. So basically once the two are paired, they now will talk to each other. So you've got an option of selecting images on your phone and then you can send them to the um, Instamatic camera to print them out. You can select this option here, which will give you um, a live view shooting option, which is pretty neat. So you can actually see what's actually the camera seeing. And it's not too bad. If I put something like that there, you can see we've got a live view now coming from the actual camera. And that's uh, another neat little feature. And you've got controls over the different settings and you can press that to take a picture. So that's, that's a cool little option. You've then got another option which allows you to transfer images. Um, you can transfer your printed images from the Evo camera and save them on a frame on your phone. So that way you can get your images. And then of course you've got settings. Um, so next, let's just select an image that I'll print from my phone. Okay, so I've got an image here that I want to select and I like this particular image of my two cats. So I'm going to say um, you've got this here which allows you to do some adjustments if you want to and you can change framing and you can add different features to it. But I basically just want to print that. So I'm now going to say yes to printing. And as you can see, it's transferring it to the um, camera and the camera now will print what the image I've just had on my phone and that will come out the camera. So once it's finished transferring it, 
so it's now transferring it to the uh, printer on the camera and that image is now coming out from the printer so it's a great option having that and it gives you a lot of versatility because you can take images that you like like of uh, stuff you've taken on your phone and then you can print them out in the Instamatic format and give them to people so you can actually take this with you and take it with your phone now the next thing I want to do is I'll take the same picture with my phone and the camera and I'll do a comparison of the two and then I'll show you the the difference in print quality between taking one with the phone and one with the camera so you can get an idea of which is better and which is worse okay so I've printed two pictures out and both of them are of claptrap and one was taken on an iPhone and one was taken with the Evo Instat camera but both were printed with the Evo Instat camera now this one is from the Evo camera and this one was actually taken on the iPhone and as you can see they're very comparable there's not a lot in it and that's fine because it shows that the Evo is quite a reasonable camera and although your iPhone will have much better optics you're still going to get a fairly decent picture from the Evo and the fact that you can print photos from your iPhone as well on the Evo makes it even more exciting so you can use it for taking pictures but you can also take it with you to print from your phone as well so that's pretty cool now overall I think this is a lot of fun to use as a camera and this has definitely been my new favorite camera I've definitely liked taking some pictures I've got another one here of my cat Simba and then of course the Lego one as you saw earlier and then of course the two cats together and all the photos it's produced have been really nice and the fact that you've got so many different filters and different options with this camera it's definitely a good buy you can't go wrong with this if you're after a, a decent Instac Instamatic camera I would get this you're definitely not going to waste your money overall the quality is good and it's a fun camera to use as you can see you can get some really nice shots from it Anyway, I'm Justin, and as always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.